I'll share with you the secret formula. You can add these lines down here for his t-shirt, like that. Arthur's pretty easy to draw. I bet you could do it. Everybody that you meet has an original point of view. <laughs> can you give us advice about drawing? Yeah, like for somebody who wants to write and illustrate books. Okay, I think, well, first of all, keep a sketchbook. Okay. That's important. Uh, yeah. Draw things around you. I had a really great art teacher that said to me once, well, he said to the whole class, but I took it to heart. He said, if you don't like something or if you think it's ugly, draw it and really look at it. And boy, that really was a big piece of information for me I found very helpful. Another piece of information I found helpful from a famous author, Truman Capote, he used to do this a lot. He'd go in the park and he'd sit there and without a pencil or paper, and he would just train his ears to listen to people talk, and he would listen to the dialogue, and then he'd go home at night and he'd try to write down all the stuff he heard people say. So he became really good at listening to people's dialogue, and I think that's why he, you know, is so good. He's such a good writer. Yeah, your first piece of advice are, are me and my sister's our teacher at our school. She always says, like, if you miss if you make a mistake in your drawing, just like make it part of your drawing. Oh, that's a good piece of advice. Yeah, I, I remember um, an art project we had where we had to like just throw paint on the paper and then look at it and see what you saw in there. And then you kind of add to it. That's kind of what your art teacher was saying in a way. And I always loved that project because, you know, it really trained you to look carefully at things and use your imagination to pull images out of those splatters of paint. It's a fun thing to do.